What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? How y'all doing? Matty Ice from Convicted Vapes. Coming back at you for another quality hardware review. I know it's been a while, right? It's good to see you guys. How you crazy motherfuckers doing? Doing good? Good, good. Glad to hear it. <laughs> I know, you'd think I quit YouTube. I know, it's not the case. I didn't quit doing videos. I'm a busy guy. Um, I'm going to start uploading more videos, I promise. I had to do a little rearranging and cleaning in the area which I do videos in. It was getting crazy. I have vape gear everywhere. Boxes of this shit. My whole fucking house is filled with boxes of vape gear. I'm fucking sleeping on this shit. So I had to do a little bit of organizing and get situated. You know, combine that with working 10 hours a day. Dealing with the Facebook group. It becomes a little bit much. Responding to messages. Because that's right, I do respond to messages when I can on Facebook. Um, but enough of the excuses, guys. I'm back. And uh, I got a fucking ton of shit. A ton of shit to review. But we're going to start off with something new. <laughs> well, it's relatively new. Um, the new Cartel box mod. The Revenant box mod. It's a, um, <laughs> it's a pretty cool piece of gear right here. I mean, it's a pretty complicated little device. Definitely an advanced user advice, in my opinion. Um, but this thing is pretty neat. It's a combination of stainless steel, uh, and or wood, precious woods, and resin. So, pretty fucking cool. And now, guys, y y Cartel is known, you know, they've been around for a long time. They did the DNA, they did the box that, like, forget the name of it, but it looks just like this. They did the DNA 200 chip in it. It was like $500. You know, they did the Stellaire V1, V2, V3. They did all those tube mods. They Stellaire did a bunch of shit. They did a bunch of atomizers mods, all types of shit, and they were very high, they were a USA based company, and they were very high priced, they were, you know, I wouldn't exactly call it, call it affordable, you know what I mean, but they made an affordable, this is an affordable device, the price point is pretty damn good, um, and this is of course dual 18650 in a series, it is a um, variable wattage um, box it does variable wattage, it does temp control, stainless steel, nickel, titanium. It's got temperature curves. It's got the bypass mode, so you could use it like a mech mod. It's got all types of goodies loaded into this chip, but uh, looks pretty good with this uh, Damascus top cap I got for the Apocalypse 2 and the uh, Mike Whisker drip tip. But uh, these come. In all sorts of colors. No no two are going to be alike because they're all different. All the patterns and all the colors are different on the materials. But they are all stainless steel. But anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to read you a description of where you can buy this box mod. I'm going to give you a price. Um, I'm going to give you all the specs on the chip, on the box. Then uh, I'm going to take the camera down and show you all the close-ups. I'm going to go through all the settings on the... Uh, on the board they have in here, and I'm going to show you how this thing works, then we're going to take the camera back up, and we're going to vape it, and uh, I'm going to talk more about it, but for now, i got to have another vape on this, I'm vaping this, uh, I forget the guy's name that sent this to me, really nice guy, I chatted with him on Facebook, it's called Stacked, Stacked Up, pretty good juice, I think I might review it, but uh, anyway... Why don't you all grab a vape and uh, sit back, kick your shoes off and relax, and we'll uh, get this review started. So, this is coming off VV Vapes, VVVapes.com. That is the shop I work at. We just so happen to get a bunch of these in. Um... So I'm just going to give you a price and a description off of VV Vapes. This is available there. We have a bunch of them. This is a long one, guys. This is good. <laughs> this is going to take a couple minutes. Just letting you know. Revenant Vapes Cartel 160 Watt TC Box Mod. So it's like a collaboration. Now I'm pretty sure this was designed 
by cartel mods and manufactured by Revenant Vapes. Now, I want to say it's a Chinese company. I'm not positive. I'm pretty sure it's Chinese. That would explain why it's pretty affordable. Um, but basically what it says is, due to the nature of manufacturing and design, each Revenant Vapes Cartel 160 Watt TC box mod features a unique colorway and patterning. Photos are for reference only and are not representative of the variants of each unit. Each unit will be sent out as packaged and at random. So you're going to get a random color. Um, it goes on to saying, Revenant Vapes Cartel 160 Watt Temperature Control Box Mod is a triple collaboration between Vaporesso, Cartel, and Revenant Vapes. So it's a triple collaboration. Jesus Christ, good luck splitting that money up, guys. Holy shit. Someone's bound to be disgruntled there. I, it's just, that's a lot of three ways. I mean, wow. Anyway, Vaporesso, they're a very well-known company. Um, to create a stunning system that integrates the vaunted Omni board, capable of six total output modes with new CCW and CCT modes in a unique and luxurious, <laughs> luxurious chassis. <laughs> it's like they're fucking describing a high-end car over here. Uh, the chassis of the Cartel 160 Watt TC box features a strong and firm rectangular form factor that integrates heavy-duty stainless steel elements at the top, base, and face. The stainless steel reinforces the dyed resin chassis that features unique and stylish patenting, making each and every Cartel 160 Watt different from one another. The Omni board integrated within is Vaporesso's premier output system and features six output modes with the new customized curve of wattage, CCW, and customized curb, curb of temperature. So you can curve the regular wattage mode, which is awesome, or you could curve it in temperature control. Uh, it's adding a greater range of versatility and precision. In CCW mode, users are able to customize wattage output second to second and ramp up control every half of second allowing users to experience output dependent on their needs and wants cct follows suit with customizable temperatures during use to allow users greater control bypass mode so you could put it in bypass mode use it like a uh, mechanical mod smart variable wattage mode um tcr mode and uh, ni 200 mode so you got um, you got temperature control for nickel, titanium, stainless steel. Uh, temperature controlled output are also on board for more traditional methods of output. Controlling the Cartel 160 Watt TC is easily done via a four button control interface. The Omni board is powered by dual high amperage 18650 batteries run in series, and they're sold separately, of course. Replaced and inserted through a flip and lock battery access door, which is on the bottom, I'll show you in the close ups. With a beautiful and stunning chassis powered by the incredible Omni chipset, Revenant Vapes Cartel 160 Watt Temperature Control Box Mod is the perfect balance between luxury, affordability, and versatility. Um, it says, please note, batteries must be matched in brand, model, and battery state at all times. Distart, discharge and recharge batteries within the same grouping of two. So it wants you to marry your batteries together. Only use the two, two batteries that you marry to this box. Charge them together, discharge them together, and keep them with this one box. Um, failure to do so may result in injury. Never use damaged or improperly wrapped batteries with this device. Product features, 5 to 100, 160 watt output. So this will do anything from 5 watts all the way to 160 watts. Uh, it's got the Omni board, 6 total output modes. It has a resistance range of 0 0.05 to 5 ohms. So this is very, very versatile. You could build all the way down to 0 0.05 ohms on this or all the way up to 5 ohms, which is fucking awesome. You know, my dick always gets a little bit hard when I hear you could build down to .05 on a variable wattage box. I love that. Um, zero to eight pot, zero to eight point five voltage range. It has smart variable wattage mode. Automatically recommend ideal output. That's what the smart variable wattage is. You'll set it, and it'll automatically adjust itself to where it thinks it should be. Um, can easily adjust. Customized curve of wattage. 
customized wattage output by second increments, customized ramp up by 0.5 second increments, half a second increments. It has bypass mode. It's firmware upgradable. So you can upgrade the firmware on this box. And like I said, it does temperature control for nickel, titanium, stainless steel. Uh, it's got the TCR mode, the temperature curves, the wattage curves. 280 to 600 degrees Fahrenheit. Has atomizer lock, flip and lock battery bay access, dual 18650 battery, running series, sleek and beautiful chassis design, futuristic yet timeless styling, carbon fiber, marble, mosaic ad accenting and paneling, four button control, enlarged firing button, adjustment buttons, mode button, full metal buttons as well, two line, 0.91 OLED display, so it's got a really nice display, temperature mode and output, output power, atomizer resistance, battery life indicator, it's neatly displayed, unique and beautiful chassis, it's just repeating itself and repeating itself. It's got a spring-loaded gold-plated 510 connection, hexagon shape, it also has a bunch of protections on it. Low voltage, current, output short circuit, load, low resistance, overheating, anti-loaded, timeout protection. The product dimensions is 92.5 millimeter by 51.2 millimeter by 26.2 millimeter. Uh, product includes one Revenant Cartel box mod, one micro USB cable, one Revenant ring, and a user manual. It comes with like a ring in the box, and I thought it was some type of beauty ring for a tank, but it's not. It's a fucking ring, a stainless steel ring to put on your finger. It's kind of strange. I'll show you in the close-ups, but that's all I got. This thing is retailing. You would think it's like a five, $600 mod, it's not. It's $150. $150. Fucking great price point for, for a box with this many features. I mean, this thing does everything. Everything. And that's available at vvvapes.com. But anyway, <clears throat> without me wasting too much more of your time, because that was fucking brutal, but it had to be done, I'm going to take the camera down. I'm going to show you the close-ups on this box, how it works. Then we're going to take the camera back up and vape this motherfucker and talk more about it. So sit tight, and I will bring the camera down. Take it deep while I'm gone. <clears throat> All right, guys. So we are up close with the Revenant Cartel 160-watt box mod. And this is a collaboration between Cartel Mods, Vaporesso, and Revenant. So it's a triple collaboration. Very nice packaging. Tin can. We have some instructions on the back. Specifications. It's got a scratch-off authenticity bar right here. And that is your certificate of authenticity. Gives you some information on the back. Revenantvape.com. We open this thing up. On the inside, we have an instruction manual, which I'm not going to get into but it gives you all the information on the temperature control curves and the wattage curves as well as the bypass and all that other information now like i said this is very sweet because you could build down to 0 0.05 very low and you could build all the way up to five ohms if you wanted to so very versatile on the inside we have the revenant box mod beautiful box right here it's fucking gorgeous but let me put that to the side. I'm going to show you some other stuff we have in here. We have a U micro USB, very nice micro USB cable. It's got the steel braiding on it and uh, <clears throat> the Cartel and Revenant logos on there. Now, I recommend only using this for, um, for software upgrades. I don't recommend charging the mod, the batteries, through this wire. It's not good for the batteries. Plus, if you somehow break the micro USB port while you're charging it, you won't be able to do updates to the firmware anymore. So I recommend getting yourself an 18650 battery charger, a uh, external charger to charge the batteries in this thing. Um, so it comes with that cable and it also comes with, this is kind of strange, you know, I opened this package up and I saw this in there and I said to myself, what the hell is this? I'm thinking it's some type of beauty ring to put on the 510 around your tank or something. And then I realized that it's just a ring to put on your finger, like a cartel mods ring, revenant ring. 
stainless steel. I mean, it's actually a pretty sweet ring. It's got Revenant in laser engraved on the inside, on both sides, and then it's got the uh, the very detailed engraving on both sides of the ring. It's actually it's actually a pretty sweet sweet ring. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys like stainless steel, I thought that was funny. I've never seen a mod come with an actual ring for your finger, which this is a nice little touch they put in there. So we'll get that back in there. And let's get down to the brass tacks here. Put this to the side. Here it is, the uh, Cartel Revenant 160-watt box mod. As you can see, this is actually a, uh, a resin, and uh, no two of these are alike. They're all going to be different colors. They're all going to be different patterns. So each one of them has its own signature feel, which is pretty cool. They're all going to be different. As you can see, they use some very nice colors on this one, and we had a bunch. Of them. We got like 30 of these in the shop, and there was all types of different purples and blues and greens. And they were all very nice. I couldn't, you know, it was, I had a really hard time choosing a color because they were all just so nice. So I thought that was a pretty cool touch. And it's almost got like, it looks like stabilized wood, but it's got a rubberized feel to it. It almost feels like stabilized wood with like a rubberized coating over it. Um, pretty interesting material. But as you can see, the top and the bottom, as well as the faceplate and the buttons are all stainless steel and that stainless steel is coated there's some type of protective coating over it on the top we have cartel revenant i don't know if that's an engraving or a printing underneath the protection but it is underneath the uh, coating that's on the stainless steel here we have a stainless steel 510 threading as well as a spring-loaded, gold-plated 510 positive pin on the device. We come around the bottom, and here we have eight battery vent holes on the battery door, and this little button you're just going to pull back, and this is going to pop open. It's spring-loaded. And there's markings on the inside for your positive and negative. You're just going to match up the positive end of the battery to the positive and the negative to the negative like that very simple and you want to use high drain 18650 batteries in this thing i use the brown lgs in here i get some really nice battery life out of this thing also you don't have to pull this back for the battery door to lock you literally just push it in and that tab goes in and that's it very nice stainless steel battery door. Very nice look to this thing. The build quality is awesome. The machining is awesome. Everything's very tight, well placed, very well machined. We go around to the faceplate, and here we have a huge OLED screen. Very easy to read. It's very similar to the size of the DNA 200 and DNA 250 uh, chip screens. <clears throat> very large and easy to read. Here we have a micro USB input, and like I said, I don't recommend using the charging cable in there to charge your batteries. I recommend just using it for firmware upgrades to the mod, which you can do. Now here we have the fire button as well as the on-off button. You're going to click that five times on and click it another five times fast. It'll turn it off. It'll also fire the device. Here we have wattage up, wattage down power up, power down, and here we have a mode button to switch the different temperature modes from uh, variable wattage to uh, temperature control for nickel, titanium, and stainless steel, 316 stainless steel. Uh, this device also has temperature, uh, temperature, con temperature mode, temperature curve. It's got a curve on it for temperature control, and it's also got a curve on it for regular variable wattage, which I'll show you. Very awesome to use. I really like the fact that um, you do not have to plug this in your laptop like the DNA chips and go on eScribe to adjust your temperature control curve. It's all at your fingertips, which is really cool. So let me pop some batteries in here, and I'll show you how it works. Now, this is all gold-plated connections as well. Very well-made box. I mean, it's just fucking gorgeous. 
the price point is is excellent. I mean, one hundred and fifty dollars for this thing. I've seen mods that are four or five hundred dollars that aren't this nice. But uh, we're gonna match the negative to the negative and the positive to the positive, just like that. And we're gonna go ahead and just push that battery door shut. It's gonna turn on. Bam. Now this goes in increments of point one. If you hold the button down, it goes in whole wattage increments. So you could work your way up from 5 watts to 160 watts very quickly and then back down again. This also has its a smart wattage mode. See that little S? Now what that does is when your batteries start to die, it's going to self-adjust to what wattage it thinks you should be at, depending on what, uh, how much battery life you have left. And as you can see... It shows you the uh, the strength of both batteries you have in there. See those two little battery bars at the top? Then we have 9.99 ohms of resistance. It's reading 999 because there's no atomizer on there. Then we have the voltage. So it tells you what voltage you're pulling depending on what wattage you have it set to. It also tells you the resistance of your coil. It tells you both the life of both batteries in the device. Very it's it's very easy to read very easy to read we're going to set this to 95 and eh, we'll set it to 100 but yeah this goes from 5 watts all the way to 160 watts and the firmware is upgradable so i would imagine they're going to allow you to upgrade it to 200 watts i have to go on the website and check if there's a firmware upgrade available yet i'm not sure there might be one on there beautiful looking box look at that Now, if you click this fire button five times fast, one, two, three, four, five, it's going to turn the system off. Click it five times again fast, one, two, three, four, five, it's going to turn back on. It gives you that Revenant logo, then goes right back to the wattage you have it set to. So even if you turn the device off, turn it back on, it's going to bring you right back to the wattage you had it set to. That's pretty cool. Let me zoom in here a little bit. There we go. Now, you also have power up and down and you have this little mode button and uh, what you can do is you can press the the power up and down in at the same time and it's gonna flip your screen hit them at the same time and again and it's gonna flip your screen over so wherever you're more comfortable whichever way you want to flip it to read the screen you could do that um, if you hit the power up and the mode button at the same time, it's going to lock your power up and down button. So hit these two in at the same time. System locked. Now you will not be able to adjust the wattage. So you could set it, lock it, and you don't have to worry about, you know, cranking this thing all the way up to 160 in your pocket and then firing it and burning your cotton. Uh, which is a cool feature. So we hit them again, power up and the mode button, and it's going to unlock it. Now you can adjust the wattage again. Now, <clears throat> if you hold this mode button in, it's going to bring you through... all the settings... So you have a bypass. You hold it in for three seconds at a time. The bypass, it's going to let you vape it right off the batteries. And I know this is in a series, so in bypass mode, you would think it's at 8.4 volts. It's not. Bypass is going to give you 4.2 volts, just like a single battery mechanical tube mod. We hold that again. It's going to go back to wattage. Now, if we click this button three times, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, excuse me, click the mode button three times, it's going to bring you to this menu option. Variable wattage. And this is the wattage curve. So if we click over and then hold this in for three seconds, bam. Now this is your wattage curve. So you could literally totally customize the hit of this vape. Now this is just wattage. You could also do this for temperature control mode with the titanium nickel and stainless steel but this specific one i'm showing you right here is for the wattage and it works relatively the same way we're going to go back to that so it starts you off 
at a half a second. So, in the first half a second, you could adjust. See the lines going up and down? It's kind of like an equalizer on a stereo. See that? So you can literally completely customize the wattage curve on this thing. So for the first half a second, you could start off at... It's going to start off at 40 watts. Then a second into it, you could bring it up to 70. One and a half seconds, we could go to 80. Click the mode button again, it'll keep bringing... See that line? It's bringing it over, that little beeping line. That's for each second all the way. So you could adjust the curve for all the way from a half a second all the way up to five seconds. So we could start it off at 40, a second into it, another half a second, it'll be 70, then to 80. We'll go to 85. Two and a half seconds in, we'll go to 90. Three seconds in, 100. And you can see the line going up. See the line going all the way up for what watts? So at 3.5 seconds, that would be 160 watts. <laughs> Pretty sweet. So this is a completely customizable wattage and temperature uh, curve right at your fingertips. There's no need to plug this in to uh, software on your laptop. It's right at your fingertips for the wattage curve and the temperature control curve. It's fucking awesome. This is completely customizable. So for the entire five second hit, you can control that. Once you have it where you want it, you hold it down and bam, that's it. Now it's in that mode. Check atomizer because I don't have an atomizer on there. But very cool. Click it five to uh, three times. One, two, three. And it brings you back to that menu. And now you can go back to variable wattage. If you hold this down, you could do the, the curve for the nickel. So I'll show that to you. The curve for the nickel, stainless steel, titanium. You could adjust the curve for everything. Or you could just put it in regular temp temperature control mode without the curve, bypass, everything. So it's all at your fingertips, guys. This is awesome. Awesome device. I usually just run it in regular wattage mode without the curve. I'm a pretty simple guy. But... <clears throat> Beautiful box, absolutely stunning. Really digging this thing. All the machining is just perfect. It looks beautiful. The materials are beautiful. It's just, it's a... It's a very nice looking box, a very versatile box. This is a, definitely an advanced user device because you just have so many options to play with. And the fact you could still plug it in and upgrade the firmware is awesome. So I'm going to take the camera back up and we're going to vape this thing and talk a little bit more about it. Sit tight, guys. So I know I didn't explain the temperature con uh, temperature con uh, curves, the temperature con curves or the wattage curves in too much detail, but you'll figure it out when you get the box. I really am digging this thing. I've been using it for about two days, and I have to say this is an awesome, awesome regulated device. The fact that you could adjust the temperature curves and the wattage curves <clears throat> on the unit itself without having to plug it into an interface on your computer like the DNA chips is pretty fucking cool. It's right here at your fingertips. So there's no need to say to yourself, oh, I want to adjust the temperature uh, temperature uh, curve or wattage curve on my mod. I got to go find my laptop and plug it in and adjust it on eScribe and all that. You don't have to do that. It's all right here at your fingertips. You could do it right on the box itself. Really cool chip, 
really high quality materials they used. Um, the machining is beautiful. The look is just stunningly gorgeous. Um, I like how every box is different. The price point is excellent. $150 for this box. Would I buy this device again if I lost or replaced, if I lost or damaged it? Yes, I fucking would buy it again. I love this thing. Um, would I spend my hard-earned money on it out of my own pocket? Um, yes, I would. I did. I bought this with my own money. Would I recommend this box to all you nutcases out there? Yes, I would. This is an awesome device, especially especially for you guys that love the fact that you could adjust the wattage curve and the temperature con uh, control curve at your fingertips. I mean, that's awesome that I don't have to plug it into an interface. And the fact that the firmware is upgradable on their website is awesome. This is an awesome piece of hardware. Overall build quality, I'm going to get it, give it a 9 out of 10. Um, functionality, a 10 of 10. Uh, originality, 10 of 10. This, is a, this box is a win. It's an awesome piece of hardware for $150. You guys need to get one of these for all you nutcases out there that like tweaking your uh, your wattage curve and your temperature your temperature curve. I mean, this is a must. You guys are gonna love this thing. Even for you guys that just wanna you know use bypass mode and vape it like a mechanical, it's great. For you guys that just wanna vape it at just solid ninety five hundred whatever how many watts you wanna vape it at, it's great. It's a very versatile box, awesome quality, and an awesome vape. This is a two thumbs up. Matty Ice Convicted Vapes, seal of approval all day long. Go out and get yourself one of these for 150 bucks. You won't be disappointed. Haven't dropped it yet, so I can't tell you. <laughs> it might just explode if you drop it. I don't know. No, I highly doubt it. This thing hasn't let me down yet. But anyway, that's all I got for you guys. Until next time. Subscribe, comment, like, share, hit the subscribe button. I'll be posting a ton more videos for you guys, I promise. I'm sorry I've been neglecting the YouTube channel. I will get back on the ball. Um, that's all I got for you guys. Uh, convicted Vapes vape mats are available at vvvapes.com. And we lowered the price of the Convicted Vapes e-juice. That's also available at vvvapes.com. 60 mil bottles for $25.00. Great juice at a great price. I'll put the link to the vape mats, the Convicted Vapes vape mats. That's the one I was showing you guys the mod over. I'm sure you saw it. It was a pretty nice vape mat. I'll put the links in the description of this video for the mod, the vape mats, and the juice. We're doing a awesome waffle in Convicted Vapes Facebook group. If any of your friends are in there, tell them to add you to the group. It's a dollar a spot, unlimited spots. And we're giving away one of these as well as a ton of other hardware and a ton of other juice. It's an epic giveaway, and all the profits are going to Larry Faircloth for his lawsuit against the FDA. So it's all going towards a great advocacy cause. So get in the group and check it out. That's all I got for you guys. Keep calm, vape on, and as always, motherfuckers, do I even have to say it? That's right. Take it fucking deep. To the fucking bottom. Heavy metal.